Hey guys, welcome to this acrylic painting tutorial. We will be painting something tropical today. So let's start by mixing our base colors. I'm adding the descriptions of all the colors I'm using and the combinations so it's easier for you to follow. I will be using the variants of these shades throughout the whole painting. I'm using some masking tape for the borders. Starting with a blue shade at the top. Make sure your color is spread evenly throughout the paper. Next we have the purple shade. You can blend your way upwards towards the blue shade. Add more purple and blue if you feel like your paint is getting dry. Use good amount of paint in order to get a smoother and quicker blend. Next we have pink. Now blend the purple and pink. Add some more pink because we have another color to blend in. Adding yellow at the bottom. The trick to a good blend is using transitional shades. When blending two shades, mix them separately to get a middle shade and use it to blend on the paper. For the sea, I'm using a darker shade of the blue that we made. And blending it with pink, the same one that we used for the sky. I'm using a lighter shade of yellow to add these soft clouds at the bottom. I'm using a round brush. I love adding clouds like these because it gives the painting such a realistic effect. Sometimes I use my finger to smudge out certain elements to give them a softer look. Adding a darker warmer shade at the bottom to give it a sunset like effect. Now for the bigger clouds, I'm using the darkest shade of blue that I have and I also added a bit of violet. When making clouds, you don't have to make it like symmetrical or straight. You can add scattered shapes and clouds like these and smudge the edges just a little bit.
add clouds of different shapes and sizes to give the sky a more dramatic effect. I'm using black to add the silhouettes. I'm adding the shape of a rocky shore. That's why acrylic paints are so useful because they dry up pretty quickly and you can layer up all you want. I'm covering a little part of the right side of the beach. Let's add some trees too. I'm adding a bigger tree in the middle and some smaller ones in the back From the center, you can make 7 to 8 branches and then smaller strokes from the branches using a detailing brush. Add some details to the trees in the back too. For the sea, add some waves or shadows using a dark blue shade. I'm still using my detailing brush for this and I'm adding some lines. For the highlights or the glow, you can add the lighter shade of yellow. Adding highlights instantly brings up the picture. Starting with a lighter shade, 
of skin tone and now the watermelon a beach painting is really incomplete without adding some watermelons now removing the masking tape remember to remove the masking tape only after your paint is completely dry so here's how it looks i hope you enjoyed the video Thank you.